Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, I thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is your daily tea and tarot for Monday, February the 8th, 2021. Today's energy is energy of the moon. It's all about setting your emotional intention for the week ahead. Um, it's about staying positive and uplifting your vibration so that you have a productive, high vibrational week basically. Um, if you're in Jersey, New York, in this area, just know that I'm with you on being tired of the snow. We're supposed to get more snow tomorrow, more snow, and, and then it's supposed to snow again Thursday through either Saturday or Sunday. Like, it's supposed to snow Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like, straight, okay? So, I don't know how y'all feel about this, but I'm about tired of this snow, and I'm looking forward to moving to warmer climate real, real soon. It's in the making. Trust me. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting all the way out of here. But then I was reading, um, I was reading something. I was reading something that was also talking about we may be entering an uh, we we may be entering an ice age. Like that may be what all the carbon the carbon monoxide, I think they said, was in the air. So it might be time for me to just go. Like it might be time for this body to like take a rest and for me to ascend because I I can't. I I I'm not built for the ice age, y'all. I'm not. I I am not built for the ice age. So yeah, let's get some um cards on the table and see what energies we got in the atmosphere for today, Monday. Spirit. What messages do you have for us today? Now this is my twin flame journey tarot deck. By Mystic Moon Oracle. So it generally may resonate with a twin flame connection. All right. Okay. We got some changes. Mm. All right. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah. I felt this energy. <laughs> we got the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Pentacles, the Death card, the World card, and the Three of Wands. There's definitely some changes. Someone's going through a transition and waiting for the results to come. Okay. I feel like something is destined to happen. Or should I say destined to get better? That's probably the better way to put it. It's destined to get better. It's the end of a cycle. I mean, absolutely with the death card and the um, world card and the three of wands, you know, someone's just waiting, awaiting the results of something. Bottom of the deck energy, we have the high priestess, the page of swords, and old wounds with the five of wands. I'm sorry, the five of cups. And then the temperance card with restoration. So I feel like someone is getting back to themselves or someone is, they're transitioning and restoring themselves. Maybe not to their original form, but to a more advanced form. Maybe they're leveling up. Maybe they're um, ascending to higher levels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely get that vibe. But it's like someone's waiting on this to happen. Could be a... Um, it could be a witch, a bruja, a spiritualist, someone of that nature, because we do have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So we'll see. This could be um, someone waiting for a king of pentacles to become more stable. You know, a father energy could be a Virgo cap Taurus. Doesn't have to be. It could be their sun sign could be Virgo cap Taurus, their moon, rising Venus. I'm also getting like Jupiter for some reason. Something to do with their money, like how they make money. It's definitely a father figure, though, because I see the baby here. Something to do with family, maybe. And we also have the death card, which is a Scorpio card. So it could have to do with a Scorpio as well. But I'm getting transformation huge here. Cycle completions. Opportunities destined opportunities so let's get some clarity out here and see what we got y'all okay so everybody's clarify the will of fortune's energy abandoned mm. it feels like someone is learning a lesson about abandonment like Maybe they abandoned a situation 
that was destined. And in abandoning that situation, they learned a hard lesson. They abandoned, like someone is, is, is abandoning a situation for a destined opportunity. Mm. Let's get one more card, Spirit. One more card for the Wheel of Fortune. A twin flame. See, I can't make this stuff up, y'all. This is a twin flame situation. That's the Wheel of Fortune. This opportunity was destined to happen. So someone has to abandon or they have to abandon or they abandoned. A situation. Wow. And learning a very valuable lesson. Spirit, please clarify the King of Pentacles. Ooh, balancing the scales with the um balancing the scales card, guide, and conclusions. So this father, okay, maybe husband, baby father with the King of Pentacles is someone who is all about stability. They make sure their family is okay. Family is priority, right? They're coming to some conclusions and they're being guided towards a situation that they abandoned, a twin flame connection. But I feel like they have to make it right and they know they have to make it right. They have to balance things out with that balancing the scales energy. But they're finally coming to these conclusions, okay? And they're being guided. I feel like spiritually, they're following that light. So please clarify the death card. It's crazy. Wow. Stuck, return, and divine timing. So... This individual is going through a huge transformation, a huge transition right now, okay? And within that trans that transition, they feel stuck. They don't know how to get out. Like, I done dug myself or I got caught in this mud. How do I get out of this situation? What am I going to do? Because I want them to return to me. I abandoned them and I want them to return to me. Well, listen, it's going to happen in divine timing. Keep transitioning. Keep changing, okay? Keep shedding the old so that you can welcome in the new. Spirit, please clarify the world card. Mm, divine feminine. I'm telling y'all, the answer is yes. Didn't I tell you keep transitioning? Didn't I say keep transitioning? I'm sorry, the answer is no. The cycle needs to be completed. It's not time. It's not time for this to, for, for this reunion. It's not time for them to return to you. It's not. You're divine feminine. It's not time. It's not time. Either you're the divine feminine or you're waiting for the divine feminine to return to you. Nonetheless, shadow work, baby. Keep putting in that shadow work. You have to keep going through that change, go through that transition, death of the old and birth of the new. Shadow work is key. The answer is no. It's not time. It's not time. And I know that the answer is no. And that's... I'm sorry. I know that the answer is no. That And that's, it's in regards to what you're waiting for because you're waiting for it. Like, is it time yet? No, it's not, baby. It's not time yet. So here, please clarify the three of wands energy. There's still barriers blocking this connection, okay? It's still a lot of destructive energy. Things that haven't, you know, things that haven't been fixed. I feel like you're still going to be destructive towards each other because there's so many barriers still blocking the two of you. You have to wait. In divine timing, it will happen. Keep healing. Keep healing. Oh, man, this is some serious energy. Bottom of the deck, compromise, signs, and inner child. I can't make it up. You want to compromise with this person. Compromise on a spiritual level. Compromise in the fifth dimension, not in the 3D world. Talk about it in your dreams through signs. Not now. You still got that inner child that needs to be addressed, okay? Mm -mm -mm. That was the bottom of the deck, okay? Now let's get messages from our twin flame journey. This is um, the first deck, and we have the twin flame journey too. So we're going to pull from both and see what messages we have for the divine masculine from the divine feminine because i feel like that's what this is about because i do but also if you're the divine masculine this could be messages for the divine feminine from the divine masculine and messages for the divine masculine from the divine feminine nonetheless let's see what they are okay is there any messages uh-huh would you reject me see they want to come forward. They want to confront this twin flame. They learned a valuable lesson because they abandoned you. But they're not sure if you'll reject them. Spirit, any more messages? I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Told you. They want to make it right. They want to make it right. They're a good person. You know, I get that strong fatherly energy, that strong stability. Like, they're all about family, okay? But they want to make this right. Is there any messages for the feminine from the masculine or the masculine for the feminine? You are an angel, see? 
Like, they want you to return to them. You're an angel. You're their angel. Nothing that you've done has been out of intentional hurt, but you've hurt each other. Ooh, I get that. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It's me. Healing, shadow work. It's not you. They abandoned you because they had to abandon you. When things are right, they will come back if it's supposed to happen. Okay? This is a twin flame. Maybe you're not supposed to be together. Maybe you're supposed to learn or awaken each other. You know, it's not necessarily that you're supposed to be together. Take the lessons you're learning. Okay? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. I told you. They're sorry. They did some ish. They abandoned you for something else, for someone else. And, and even though they've done that, they feel like, they feel like it's been destructive. Okay. And that's what's created that barrier in between the two of you, because they might have went somewhere else. They might have went and experienced this intimacy or tried to experience this intimacy with someone else and it didn't happen. Bottom of the deck, your words linger in my mind. You said something to them and whatever you said, they can't stop thinking about it. Now let's get the twin flame journey messages, two cards and see what other messages we have for the feminine from the masculine, for the masculine from the feminine. Think what resonates, the rest leave it, you guys. I know how I do. Also, I don't know if I'm going to do the monthly zodiacs because it's very time consuming and I just don't know. You guys let me know what you think. First message is I am working towards a better future. So they are working on themselves. Shadow work, inner child, energy healing all day, baby. Okay. What other messages do we have? I will come back to you. I told you. They're feeling the consequences of what they've done to you. So they're going to come back to you, but they're not ready. They're trying to balance things out. I feel like they're waiting. Divine timing. Okay? They got more work to do. They got more healing to do. It's not time yet. But they will. They want you to know that they will come back. You're all I've ever wanted. Once they met you, that was it. That was it. Once they met you, they can't see nobody else but you. You're it. You're it. Finito. Okay? They're done with everybody else. They can't only want nobody else. I just want you to be happy. Your happiness is very big deal to them. Very big deal. You're their angel. Don't take what happened personally. It wasn't you. They have shadow work they have to do. So I feel like they're staying away because they know that they can hurt you. They know that this is destructive. Very destructive. The last card is, I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. Because the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So they wish they had told you. They wish they did bring it up. They wish they did say it, but they didn't. And the bottom of the deck, there are still so many unsaid things between us. I'm telling you, it's not done. There needs to be a conversation. There will be a conversation. When the time is right, there will be a conversation. Again, in divine timing, don't rush it. Let the shadow work happen. Let the healing happen. But continue to communicate on a fifth dimension, not in this dimension. Pay attention to the signs around you because that's part of that fifth dimensional energy. Pay attention to number sequences, okay? Pay attention to songs, you know, things like that. That's how they're talking to you. That's how they're communicating with you. Nonetheless, this is a twin flame connection. It may not be that you're supposed to be. Maybe you're just supposed to awaken each other and that's it. But again, it's different for everybody. So take what resonates and the rest leave it, y'all. All right, that's it for today's Daily Tea and Tarot. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If this reading has resonated with you, please be so kind as leave a comment down below in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and hit that like button for me. Also, if you're looking to schedule a private, more personal reading, you can schedule that through my website at www.alchemygoddess.love. That's A-L-K-E-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S -S dot L-O-V-E. All right, you guys, until next time, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>